hello and welcome to my channel for today's video we are going to realize this makeup look with products that i already have and also i'm trying a new foundation now this is not new it is this one from tom ford the traceless soft matte foundation i did bought this uh, several months ago but i cannot use it just because of the color shade it is in color 6 natural uh, but now uh, when I'm more tan in the summertime, this works for me really beautiful. This is how it looks now on my skin. I do have it for like approximately one hour. Uh, this is not uh, a wear, uh, let's say, a video, a wear test video. Uh, but I did want to include this uh, foundation um, in here just to review it and see how it wears. Uh, now for the eyes, I did use this by Rado palette. Uh, this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I have tried these years and I'm very glad that I bought it. It is my first uh, makeup product from by Rado and I don't regret it. These are um, exceptional. Now I'm not a huge fan of the packaging, but I'm a huge fan of the eyeshadows. These are made in Italy and these are very creamy, very buttery. They do look beautiful they blend beautiful on the eyes um, if you can still uh, find it somewhere and buy it i do highly recommend it i don't know that on byredo uh, us website sometimes this is back in stock i always post um, when this is available so if you are subscribed to my channel you will get a notification uh, but yeah, if you do want to see how I realize this look, uh, keep on watching. Today we are going to play with some color in here. Um, I don't know exactly. I don't know that I want to uh, play with this green in here. I want to use this gray, this eyeshadow from here, this rosé. Uh, I don't know. We will see how uh, this makeup will go, but I think it will be very, very simple in a way. Uh, so... I will take first with uh, this refire number 28 I will take this green uh, eyeshadow from here and I think I'm going with uh, some kind of hello situation packing this in and out of the corner and here I don't know from winter we go directly to summer it is very very warm be something like this these are very easy to use, to play with, I don't know, very creamy when I uh, first swatch them. So, and you do have multiple colors in here. I mean, if you don't like greens, you have blue, then you have pink. Um, I don't know, some beige, some purples in here, some rosé. I want to take this shade from here. I will pack that in the middle. Okay, this is beautiful. This shade. And then to blend this, I will take this lightest green from here. And I will just blend this two colors in here. I think it's going great with that transition from uh, a darker green, let's say, in intensity, and then from that silver. But I think this is beautiful. So it will be something like this for the both eyes. Now, I do want to add a little bit of this blue with a very thin brush, and I will pack that very, very close to the eyelashes let's say it will be i don't know instead of using some kind of eyeliner i will just use this blue i think it will look gorgeous with this combo but this it's kind of deepening it's a kind of green blue shade it is really really pretty this one here in the corner and i will blend this now for my inner corner i do want to use this shade i think it is a beautiful like rosé shade really really pretty and it's kind of going i don't know 
it's giving this contrast between green and then all green blues and then i wanted some kind of different color let's say but this is beautiful this rose shade this palette i to be honest i didn't want even to buy it um and then it was available here in sweden and i said okay it had uh, really good reviews um uh, so i say okay let's try it it is uh, my first even uh, even it is my first eyeshadow from byredo my first makeup product from byredo let's say uh, but this is stunning and these are made in italy and from what i notice uh, all the eyeshadows that are made in italy uh, no matter uh, which brand are making it are very very good so i think this is kind of the eye makeup look it is it has a little bit of green I don't know i will probably take i will take some of this kind of yellow and place it a little bit yeah i think i kind of remove that first gray shade i think it's going better with this kind of green and it's giving more luminosity that golden shade and these are really nice because actually you can layer it and they don't look patchy or anything they actually look really good on the eyes and for foundation i will use this from tom ford it is a matte foundation this is not new whatsoever i did bought it a long time ago like two three months but it was too dark for me i think now it will be uh, let's say my shade it is in sh uh, number six natural so the bottle looks like this i was talking below my phone closed because of the heating uh i was saying i was saying that uh, this foundation looks like skin it does really match my uh, sun um, or summer shade let's say it does look beautiful and i'm very curious how this will wear uh, especially today when it's very very warm it's, it feels like 28 degrees it's really warm for sweden uh, usual type of weather let's say now um, i will use this also from tom ford this is shade and illuminate contour duo in intensity one it's really nice um, i don't know contouring shade i do love it and i did wear it a lot especially during the summer um, sometimes i don't even powder it um, now i remember about this uh, tone 4 foundation because uh, to be honest i was planning to use a skin tint from lisa eldridge from this uh, for this video uh, but i remember about that i have this foundation and i said okay maybe now it is a match and it is a very good opportunity for me to try it because of the shade uh, so yeah this is really nice contouring shade very fast also uh, to use it blends really really nice uh, now i don't use this uh, illuminate shade so for me it will be very nice if they will make only this and they will uh, like lower the price because this is on the pricey side and uh, it's not only me i've seen a lot of reviews people talking about this uh, liking the contouring so much and buying for the contouring and not using almost not at all this uh, illuminating shade let's say another product that i got in love this summer it is this blush from armani this is luminous silk cheek tint in shade uh, 31 this is a corally peach shade it is really really stunning i have been using especially this shade i have bought uh, four shades but uh, this one in particular i have used it a lot and i tend to use this kind of colors especially in the summertime just because i don't know it just brings life in and 
it looks really this color looks really really beautiful during the summer let's say uh, these are not as pigmented as rare beauty blushes so don't expect that you apply a dot and then you'll be pigmented now i did apply too much usually two or three dots will be like enough for you to make a color and then you can build it up from that point if you want to add more now for the brows uh, i will use a product that i just discovered this is from babor uh, this was gift with purchase uh, from ochlen so um, i tried it i didn't expect to like it so much it is called eyebrow mascara it is in shade 2 medium um, and it is it has like a very tiny uh, brush and it does the job i don't know it is very precise and i don't usually do too much to my brows but this um it's like a mascara it's exactly what they are saying give them a little bit fullness and uh, it also keep it in place so this is how it looks now you can all see in direct sun um how this looks and also this is kind of my first product from babor uh, maybe in the future i will try more it's very easy to use very fast and it is very very small travel size friendly uh, i mean this is full size but it it, it looks like a travel size that's why i'm saying and uh, it has 36 months of shelf life okay um so it's an eyebrow gel and i think these are made in germany for powder i will use just a little bit of this pink powder from patmograph i have talked about this in many videos now um no matter the color this is a great powder this is the most finest powder that you can apply under the eyes to set it it look great it illuminate uh, i am in love with this one now this uh, if you apply it with this kind of a dense brush it might have some kind of uh, radiance under the eyes um, but it is very very small in my opinion uh, it, i don't know between the white one uh, that i've been i have been using before and this one um, i don't think the color matters so much it's not pink enough uh, but it is really really nice and i will set just a little bit some um, like forehead and my chin with this and i don't think i will set anything else with this this is typically what i do in the summertime i, I don't like to use I don't even like to use this matte foundation i usually use a skin tint that but just because uh, i wanted to try this and until now this looks beautiful to be honest it looks like skin i'm very curious because it, when it is very warm i do tend to sweat a lot so i'm very curious how this will wear during uh, the day um, but yeah by now it looks really pretty now for mascara i will use this uh, max stack mascara in shade chestnut this is new this is a brown shade mascara and it is one of my favorite now you can use any kind of brown mascara i do like it and um, i tend to use it um, i mean uh, i do like it more uh, especially this year to use more colorful mascara i don't know why this brown mascara it is an alternative um, for the black one if you don't want to use a very colorful mascara like um, i don't know a blue a pink uh, a turquoise green i don't know what colors uh, they are making now but um, it is a little bit uh, different than the black mascara but not that in your face 
and this is how it looks with mascara and without mascara for the lips i'm going to use a lip pencil from charlotte tilbury this is in shade icon baby and these are very very creamy once they are put they are put I do like very much the formula of this lip pencil from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I will pair it with an Hourglass Glossy Balm in shade Crave 140. These are one of my favorite formula uh, for like a lip gloss. Let's say they are very shiny. They do have a little bit of minty effect, not plumping, um, but they are very hydrating and comfortable. And I think this one, it will actually look good on this uh shade from charlotte yes this is the perfect kind of pink nude lips stunning so this kind of ends my video i hope you enjoy it i will link all the products in the description box if you shop to my links it really helps my channel uh, i wish you to have a great day and see you next time Bye-bye.